Hello guys and hello guys, welcome back to Sports Shots and Cool Stuff and today we are going to be our doing our first reaction video. I commented on Hangtime's video that he should mix every sauce into one. He's also done this with every sports drink, every fruit into one, smoothie, and many more. So let's do it. In this video, I'm mixing every sauce brand and flavor into one bottle. Here, we'll just pause it real quick. That is a really cool looking bottle. I feel like so that's like a bottle for a real brand almost. Ah, uh, where else would I start this challenge than H-E-B? If you've seen my previous videos, you probably could have guessed that. And after this one, let's just say I hope I can still come back. Now, I knew there was going to be a lot of sauces, but I wasn't ready for the sheer amount of sauces that were in this store. And remember, I have to buy every brand and every flavor of that brand. Incredibly, we still bought a lot more sauces. And just to check every box, we went to every fast food restaurant that had their own sauces. Thankfully, they were all very accommodating. For example, I got Big Mac sauce in a to-go container. Ah, that was a smart move, getting all the McDonald's or like Wendy's or Chick-fil-A sauce. That's a smart move because Big Mac sauce might change it a lot. You never know. Can I just get a cane sauce? We got the cane sauce. Do you guys think that's going to add a good kick to the final product? No. Yes, yes no. it will. No. It will. Oh, and by the way, you should subscribe to Hangtime. He's awesome. And now, science time. We need to make the final product as evenly distributed as possible, so that way we are getting a true mix of every sauce into one bite when we taste test it at the end. To ensure this, let's first note that we have 251 total sauces, but these sauces obviously come in different sized bottles, and I need all of them to fit into one 20 ounce hang time packaged bottle. To do this, I'm only going to take one teaspoon from each sauce because one teaspoon is equivalent to 0.167 ounces, and 0.167 ounces times 251 sauces equals 41 1.9 ounces, which is just enough room in this blender that I can gradually fill up to mix all the sauces together in the end. This will ensure a truly legendary hang time sauce is made because it will contain an even amount of every sauce. The fact that it's called Extreme Regret is a good indicator not to try it. What have I done? What have I done? Ah, what have I done? Ah! Idea. With the world's hottest sauce in, we're finally ready to mix it all together. Oh crap, oh crap. Okay, I'm gonna clean out the outside of the bottle. I smacked on my hang time branding to make it look more official. What do you guys think? I think one of these days I'm gonna get sued. But thankfully it's time to leave my house to visit my taste testers for a review and mini game. And now the moment we've all been waiting for, a taste test review. And we're trying it on different types of food to see what it tastes best on. I'm gonna pour some, oh shoot, oh. sorry. I gotta clean that up. Oh, <laughs> oh dang, good biscotti. Mm. 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 I, I love it. it. It's sweet. There's a hint of barbecue in there. And then a little bit of hot sauce. Vinegar hits you hard, mm -hmm. but then it's followed by a nice subtle honey mustard taste. Then followed by a little ghost peppery like on the back of the tongue. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's like a little heat to it at the end. <laughs> the other thing, is there like some Worcestershire? Yeah, there is. Sauce? Yeah, yeah, I, can, yeah I, can, I would say so. I can taste the Worcestershire. Subscribe to Hang Time and thanks for watching.